So here we are on the first day of the test for the 6.7 Cummins turbo diesel. Um, we're going to put our Hythenol Plus in this engine. I'm going to let it warm up first and get it all started. And once it gets up to temperature, then I will swap out the diesel fuel out of the tank and put in our Hythenol Plus, which is here. Uh, I have about two gallons, I think, maybe a little bit over, but it'll be enough to get the test to see how the engine is going to operate with this 100% uh, biodiesel form of Hythenol Plus. So let's get started. Turn on the power. Let it kick in the electronics just a little bit. And let's see what happens in the startup. Well, there was a smooth startup. And instead of boring you with the warming up of the engine. I will let it warm up for the next few minutes to get it up to temperature and then get back to you. So far, so good. Well, here's the moment of truth. After flushing the fuel tank out of, completely out of diesel, there may be some residual. I've refilled it with our Hythenol. And I'm going to give it the first shot. This is the very first attempt to operate this coming 6.7 turbo diesel on our biofuel. And uh, so this is <laughs> very exciting and creating anxiety because we don't know until we actually fire it up. So now that the electronics are up to power, I'm ready to start it up. Now, it will start probably because there's still diesel in the uh, fuel lines and the injectors. So let's see what happens when it hits the uh, Hythenol Plus. So far, so good. Let's get some gauges here going. Fifteen seconds running. The uh, return fuel line still looks like diesel, so when that turns green, I know that I'm running straight hypenol. The uh, temperature gauge here, the exhaust temperature is 149 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so now we've got. We drop down in RPM. But it's running fine. The fuel is still flowing in the return fuel line. I'm actually smelling the sweetness of the biodiesel or the Hythenol Plus. It is working, oh my God. It smells really nice, my God. It's like a perfume store almost. So, well, what can I say? Uh, it's running now for 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Now a minute. It's running at a lower RPM. That's interesting. As you can see, 
There's no smoke coming out of there. It just went to idle. It is now idling at 600, 736 RPM. And it's as smooth as a baby. Oh my God. Well, I gotta say, once I hook up the Testo 3, or, yeah, the Testo 350 and analyze these emissions, but this was kind of the first stage test to test the fuel and the operation of the fuel. And it is running smooth. This is amazing. Not even a burp. but I can smell the sweetness of the fuel. Let's get us more up to power and see if there's any issues. Running at 1,280 RPM. No smoke to be seen. Now keep in mind the Hyphenol Plus has a higher lubricity than diesel, so that'll increase the longevity of the engine and a smoother operation. So I'll be comparing this video with, with the audio file to see if the diesel was running louder with, uh, with the diesel fuel as opposed to the Hyphenol Plus. But until we put the Testo 350 gas analyzer on this, this was a very, very successful test, first phase test to ensure the operation of the engine running on 100% Hyphenol Plus.